Welcome back, it is Brett here, where you'll be learning about game triggers today in my tutorials for authoring tools. So, today we'll be learning about triggers. Triggers is a very main mechanic. They can be used for pretty much anything. Doors opening, closing, item droppers, uh, animations, or anything. So, what we'll be doing is first, we'll do some triggers. Today we'll display the triggers, the trigger sounds, and closed doors, and probably one other one, I'll have to think. But, so what we're going to do is, we're gonna, first we're going to trigger the door close. So you know how when you open the door, you walk past it and it closes. What we're going to do is, you're going to go over here, and you're going to find, you're going to click browse under textures, and you're just going to type in trigger. And you're just going to open trigger. And then, what you're going to do, is you're just going to drag and make a small box behind this. On the door. It's going to line it up right behind the door so you can't miss it. And it's just going to click enter. Now it's a trigger. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go on it and click Control T, and come here, Trigger, type in Trigger. There's once, or there's multiple. Trigger once is when you trigger it, it only triggers once and you can't trigger it again. Trigger multiple is if you want to play a sound multiple times and you walk through it, it'll play, and then when you walk back through it, it'll still it'll replay it. What you're going to do is going to trigger once, and apply, let's give this name, uh, Trigger door close and apply then you're going to go to outputs add and then you're going to go to on trigger we're going to main door and then we're going to go to close and then just click apply actually we're going to add one second after all right and then now when you walk through it it closes the door all right now we're going to add one more trigger just to make, just to finish up making the game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go. Let's say when you, we're gonna spawn. So let's just put a spawn right here. And then we're just gonna go like this. Let's just put a trigger by us to play like a sound. All right. Now that's that there. We're just gonna double. Click. We're gonna make a new entity right here. We're gonna double click. We're gonna type in ambient. Oops, sorry. Ambient generic. And apply. Now we're just gonna give this thing a name. So it's just called sound. I'm gonna click apply. We're gonna go to sound name. And you can browse. Now to add add new sounds. Custom sounds. You'll have to watch watch another video. But we're just gonna do one. So let's just try to find announcer. There. Now to preview it, just click preview. But some of these don't preview. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to we're gonna find one, and we're gonna just go here. Here's test chamber ten. We'll just go like that. Okay, apply. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the trigger, control T, trigger multiple. Actually, we'll trigger once. We're just gonna go trigger sound. Then you're going to outputs, add, and then you're going to go on trigger, sound, play sound, and then click apply. And then you can click fire once, but we're not going to do that. All right, now that's the main triggers for now. There's multiple ones. You can do ones that are like kill, ones that make you like restart the map, ones that trigger auto save. But we're just going to do these. So let's click File, Save, Run Map, and then we're just going to go. Now you're going to make sure your sound is on, otherwise you won't be able to hear it or do it. So first let's test the trigger, the sound trigger. It might not work, but that's why you got to redo it and then figure out how it works. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through ports. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. And then now, since that worked, we're just going to open the door. Click. Now ready. See, and it closes. So now, we have working triggers. So now you can take that game mechanic and bring it to multiple levels to make an awesome mod or map. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.